erases scars with a bandage. Hoping maybe we can come to an understanding. That son of a bitch. <laughs> God, he's so good. What is up, Blaze Squad? Today we're going to be checking out Joner, Joner Lucas. I'm not racist. I don't know where this is going to go. Once I get talking, I get talking and things just start coming out. It's like some press shit that I've always felt is finally coming out. And now it's like I'm not scared to say the shit. People who got something to say and it actually is positive, that's who I fuck with the most. Respect, I don't have pity for you black niggas. That's the way I feel. Screaming black lives matter or the black guys rather be dead beats to pay your bills. Yelling nigga this and nigga that. Call everybody nigga and get a nigga mad. As soon as I say nigga, then everyone react. Wanna swing at me and call me racist cause I ain't black. Out of all people, I never really expect to say this because I listened to his shit when I was young, but I never listened to him. You know, you can listen to music and you don't listen to somebody when they speak, but you listen to their shit. Bootsy, Bootsy badass. I don't. He's really, really popular in the South. He, the dude asked him if he can have any power. I guess you know, superpower. What, what would it be? He said, and it would be to see through everybody's eyes. Empathy. If we had more empathy. Pound that then. Talking about slavery like you was around back then. Like you was picking cotton off the fucking ground back then. Like you was on the plantation getting down back then. All right. Look. I see a black man aiming his gun. But I'd rather see a black man claiming his son. And now I mean just for one day and you done. I mean. Oh, okay, okay, I see where this is going at. Shit, 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 shit. I didn't want to take it. There. Okay, this is the reason why I don't want to do this video. <laughs> this song is really, 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 really just cause it's crazy because I can see. Ooh, okay. I had I had that both on both sides. Like it was on both sides. It's like he's the white dude saying this, but then sometimes in my brain it's like, yo, we gotta fix up, we gotta get our shit together, y'all. And it doesn't, of course, you're going to hate it even more when you hear a white person saying it. When you see, I, it took me a long time to learn a lot of shit. My husband, from an outside perspective, when it came to certain certain things. You guys, we, why we doing this? You don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it from a, a, a person of a different color. But you hear it. I hear it. If you notice it's a delivery, of course I'm not going to listen to you. Like, of course I'm right now, I'm going to be boiled up, heated inside because you're screaming this shit at me. Yeah, of course I can hear what you're saying. But the delivery of how you just talk to me, bitch, get, oh, okay. Emotions. This dude don't, oh my God, he knows how to get fucking emotions out of people. Left and right. I work my ass off and pay my taxes for what? So you can keep living on free government assistance, food stands for your children, but you still try to sell them for some weed and some liquor or a fucking babysitter while you party on the road because you ain't got no fucking goals. You already late. You motherfuckers need to get your damn priorities straight. Wait. It's like you're proud to be fake, but you lazy as fuck. And you rather sell drugs and get a job and be straight, and then you turn. And that right there is like empathy, man. You know, it's, sometimes in some places, it's just you got to do what you got to fucking do to survive. Like I said, I've been lucky enough to be able to be all right. Yeah, I have some fucked up moments, but I'm all right. Change but can't break a dollar. Got nobody else to blame, so you blame Donald. They fuck the world with a make America great kind of. My boy's been back. I'm not racist. My sister's boyfriend's black. I'm not racist. My sister in law's baby cousin Tracy got a brother and his girlfriend's black. My head's in the cloud. Heard it's not enough. This dude is good. Meaning the guy who's doing the acting, he's really making like Jonah's voice, of course, and his delivery, of course, but then you see it. Hey, yo, this guy who's doing this thing is good. You kind of believe him for a second. <laughs> it is so, it hit, it hits so close to home. Both fucking sides, y'all. Both fucking sides. Maybe we should build a wall to keep the Mexicans out. Or maybe we should send them all to the ghetto for now. I'm not racist. And I never lie, but I think there's a disconnect between your culture and mine. I worship the Einsteins, study the Steve Jobs, but you ride Tupac's dick like he was a fucking god. Oh my. And all you care about is rapping and stunting and being ratchet. And that's the nigga within you. In your brain and slowly start to convince you that you let your kids listen and then the cycle continues blame it all on the menu blame it on those drinks blame it on everybody except for your own race blame it on white privileges blame it on white kids and just blame it on white citizens aim it to vice president <laughs> bunch of class clowns niggas kneeling on the field that's a flag down how dare you try to make demands for this money you gonna show us some respect you gonna stand for this country nigga i'm not 
racist. I'm just prepared for this type of war. I heard Eminem's rap at the awards. Who's he fighting for? Y'all can take that motherfucker too. He ain't white no more. And that's the thing. Is just that little sentence there. I had it on the black side. I'm not looking to fit in nowhere. That's fine. <laughs> you know? It's like, I'm fine. That sucks. It does suck. But just make sure I keep the correct people around me. People who want to see me grow. Like, I don't, I hate that, that we have to be in this group. It, you know, it has to be a group. You have to be something. I'm in the South right now. And I've dealt with bullshit. You scream whatever you fucking can when you're angry. And if you're calling somebody all kinds of names, you're angry. You're pissed. And you want them to feel pissed like how they made you feel pissed. My job is not to do that. I'm not going to make let you so-called win. Like, you're not going to get me there. I'm going to show that I can take the I can take the high road. You're going to be one less person that I just do not need to deal with in life. I don't expect everybody to have my mindset. I don't expect the, every black person to have that same mindset I'm having. If somebody going around calling you the N-word and you feel in your bones and then every piece of you and what you was taught is to box them in the face, I'm not going to say shit to it. Same if a white person was getting called all kinds of nastiness and just to a point because this black person was being racist to them and they hit them, consequences. Every action, there is a reaction. Oh, I'm having so many goddamn emotions right now. It's like you want to be so famous. You'll do anything for attention and a little payment. I can't take you nowhere without people pointing fingers. Pants hanging off your ass. You ain't got no home training. Put your fucking pants off, nigga. Put that suit back on. Take that do-rag off. Take that coat out your mouth. Quit the pitiful stuff. And then maybe police and stop killing to you. you. What the fuck? I'm not racist. Sometimes some people are trying to find their own identity. It's like we're living in the same building but split into two floors. I'm not racist. But there's two sides to every story. I wish that I knew yours. You know, and that the delivery is like, you just talk to me. I get it though, but I get what he's doing. But boy, he can get some shit I out of you. I knew man. Yours. Just not feeling that pathetic. With all disrespect, I don't really like you white motherfuckers. That's just where I'm at. Screaming all lives matter is a protest to my protest. Yeah, I said, if you stop, we'll stop type shit. Once the day y'all stop doing it, the day we stop doing it. Yeah. How about y'all just stop? Power in the word nigga is a different sin. We shouldn't say it, but we do. And that's just what it is. But that don't mean that you can say it just because you got nigga friends. That word was originated for you to keep us under. And when we use it, we know that's just how we greet each other. Say the word. Yes, I used to say the word. But then I realized if I don't want nobody else saying it, why should I say it? I don't care if people use it around me when I'm talking to people and they sit there throwing that around. It is what it is. I don't care. You know, honestly, people get mad at me for saying that if a white person was going around saying that nigga, if they was going around saying that, I don't care. That's your part of your vocabulary now. I've made it to a point where that's a word to me. Until you physically touch me, or spit on me, that's when the issue comes around. Your words, you can talk to that, you can talk that shit till your face turn fucking purple. You'd be a new color up in this bitch, cause I don't give a fuck. But the physical part, that's where we're gonna have a problem. Spitting, when a woman spit on a man, a man spit on a woman, that's fucking assault. You don't spit your, your physically, your physical shit, just touch me. So technically, that came from your fucking body, that's part of you, you get smacked across the face. Other, other than that, I'm not going around fighting people because they saying sh they saying words. If I hear uh, if I hear a dude if I hear a dude who was not black saying the word nigga, that's his vocabulary. People giving that word power is going to continue to be the way it is. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I am. I don't know. But that's just how I see life right now. I gotta live on this earth. I'm trying to find a way to live on it. And even if I wasn't picking cotton physically, that don't mean I'm not affected by the history. My grandmama was a slave. That shit gets to me, and you ain't got no motherfucking sympathy, you pussy nigga. I'm sorry you can never fail my life. I'm trying to have faith, but I never feel all right. It's hard to elevate when this country's ran by whites, judging me by my skin color and my blackness. I'm trying to find a job, and ain't nobody call me back yet. Now I gotta sell drugs for food in my cabinet. You crackers ain't slick. This is all a part of your tactics. Don't talk about no motherfucking tax. I, no I totally you understand you know it. You don't. You want to copy our slang and everything that we know. Try to steal black culture and make it your own. Whoa. Fuck, I'm exhausted.
exhausted. I can't even drive without the cops trying to start shit. I'm tired of this systematic racism bullshit. All you do is fall shit, just the shit that I'm false with. You don't know shit about my people, that's what bothers you. You don't know about no fried chicken and no barbecue. You don't know about the two-step or no loose change. You don't know about no two chains or no Kool-Aid. You don't know. And even though Barack was happy. It's black. You hated President Obama, I know that's a fact. You can't wait to get him out and put a cracker back And then you gave us Donald Trump and I was paid back for that I'm not racist I never lied but I noticed a disconnect between your culture and mine Yeah I praised Tupac like he was a fucking god He was fighting for his life way before he fucking Fucking die nigga, die nigga And all you care about is money and power and being ugly And that's the cracker within you Hatred all in your brain and slowly start to convince you Then you teach it to your children until the cycle continue Blame it on Puerto Rico, blame it on OJ this one i think that's something that's gonna stay there's always gonna be pushing blame on other people nobody it's hard for me sometimes to know that i'm wrong it, i'm getting there i'm getting there I learn, i'm learning because I, I was i was stubborn very very stubborn all right black citizens aim at the black businesses i ain't saying i'm innocent but i might be any day now Treating everybody how you want in any way how. I swear no career about the bombers any day now. And now I'm ducking every time I hear a fucking play now. You know I make a lot of sense, but you just can't admit it. When Eminem went against Trump, that was the illest. Cause even though he's white, he let us know he's standing with us. I'm not racist, but I cry a lot. You don't know what it's like to be in a frying pot. You don't know what it's like to mind your business and get stopped by the cops. And I know if you about to die or not. You worry about your life, so you take mine. I love you, but I fucking hate you at the same time. I wish we could trade shoes so we could change lives so we can understand each other more, but that'll take time. I'm not racist. It's like we living in the same building but splitting to both sides. I'm not racist. But there's two sides of every story, and now you know mine. Can't erase the scars with a bandage. I'm hoping maybe we can come to an understanding. Agree to disagree, we can have an understanding. I'm not racist. probably why it was kind of um <laughs> kind of like not one to upload <laughs> okay oh my god jordan oh super emotional because i feel both sides i understand both sides i get it it's always more than just black and white racism i was lucky enough to deal with people at one point in my life where it's like i accept you for who you are I I was raised I was raised around a diverse a very fucking diverse place. I saw people's culture. It was it was fascinating to me how people lived their lives. I'm like yeah, I know I could be very emotional. Y'all see I always have like a roller coaster emotional of emotions when I'm on camera. Like I can go from laughing to yelling to <laughs> crying and laughing. I don't know if there will be a second upload. Might be not too sure, but. I'm putting everything to a side for a second and putting this up because you guys have really been asking. And I've really kind of been putting it off. But it's fine. It's cool. I'm nervous, but hey. <laughs> All right. Play squad. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video.